it's John. Today I'm going to shave with some new stuff I got. Um, we're going to be using Henry et Victoria La Pior Franchise. I believe I said that right. And here's the label. And we're going to be using the matching aftershave balm. And these are from Canada. They're Canadian products, so I'm excited to try them. Also, I'm going to be using my Flying Dutchman that I just got today. I uh, pulled all the rust off of it. I cleaned it up really nice. And uh, I honed it. Um, so I'm going to give it a shot today. And my brush today is going to be my Franks with Best Badger. And uh, it's uh, nice. I like the, the big long handle. So let me get ready and we're going to shave. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, so I'm loading my brush. And this, this soap, it's fantastic. It's, uh, it's soft. Um, it's, it's like between medium and hard, I'd say, a little more. Um, and uh, I really don't know how to explain this scent. It's, um, to me, it seems like, uh, like a nice cologne. And it's, uh, I don't know, it seems citrusy to me. But, you know, everybody's got a different nose, so we'll see how that goes. Um, so I got my brush loaded up. And... I'm going to build a lather. Hope everyone's week is going well so far. It's Mon you know, Monday is over and uh, Tuesday morning here. Okay. I had a really ex cool weekend. I... Uh, I shot a Spartan race Saturday and Sunday that I was at, and had a nice weekend. Made a bunch of money so I could buy some more shaving stuff. I got to tell you, I really like the smell of this. Um, I'm just giving you first impressions. It's not. It's. It seems nice and slick, and it's got a great amount of cushion to it, and the scent. I would probably, I'd have to say that, um, I'd have to say that it's probably an eight as far as strength goes from what I'm smelling. And uh, it get, definitely got stronger when I uh, bloomed it. Um, you got to try this stuff. Well, let's see how it shaves, right? All right. So square tip, five eighths. Here we go. These vintage razors are, uh, they're cool to collect and restore. But they're, uh, they're super duper light. Okay, I'm getting some hair on there. So, it's shaving. So you don't hear me running water on my videos much anymore. That's because I fill my tub up, you know, my uh, sink with, with warm water. And I have a wet towel, like I told you guys. And I use the towel to wipe my blade off.
So this one was honed. I set the bevel on the 1000 Chisera and uh, I progressed through the 3000 Naniwa, the 8000 Naniwa, the 12000 finishing stone, and then um, I stropped it 50 times. I put up a few pictures um, on Facebook. So if you guys can check it out, I got a microscope now, so you can get a really good idea of what the edge looks like. Hopefully soon I'll learn how to use that microscope a little better. <laughs> uh, I'm still learning. All right, that felt pretty good. All right. Let's uh, do a little wrench. Okay. Nice. All right, so Frank's brushes. Okay, Frank's brushes um, from Frank Shaving. This is uh, this is supposed to be a finest badger. Um, it's pretty floppy, as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't have anywhere near the backbone that my Thater or my Savile Row or even the knots that I mean, Anthony McKenzie's Sunrise knot. That's a badger, and it's got way more backbone than this, but. You know, I bought these brushes. I have quite a few different brushes, so I, even though it's not optimal, like my favorite in the world, I still want to use them. You know, I get, an, I, I get a lot of enjoyment. I hope you guys do too, you know, from using your all your equipment, you know, your hardware and your software. So I truly like it. All right. All right. Now I'm going to do my Anthony Esposito pass. No drag at all with the blade. It's cutting the hair nice and smooth. Um, no irritations or anything like that. And it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, this blade had some rust on it, a small amount on the, uh, on more on the top over here by the, uh, um, by the spine. So I used, uh, I used my Dremel and, uh, Sanded some of it off, rebuffed it out, used some metal polish.
So a family member decided he was going to taunt me. He was He's in New York on business. And uh, he sent me a picture. of the uh, front entrance to Pasteur's. And that was it, nothing else but the picture. So I, me I messaged back, who is this that's taunting me? And he said, Tony, my brother-in-law. I said, oh, okay. Well, I like anything sandalwood and I love lavender. Um, and any brush will do. And he said that he walked four freaking miles in New York to get to this store just to get me something. So I can't wait till he gets back from New York to see what he brought me. And I'll post it for you guys. He didn't use the word freaking either. He used the other word. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. All right. I'm feeling good so far, guys. Um, my prep before the shave was a nice hot shower. And uh, I used um, glycerin soap to wash my face and lift my beard. Okay, plenty of plenty of soap in this brush. I'm still getting a huge amount of smell. The scent is really nice. I apologize, I didn't investigate what this actual scent was, it's definitely got to be a cologne of some sort. I take on some kind of cologne, and it's it's fantastic. I really do like it a lot. Um, I think that you should uh, absolutely have have uh, one of these products. Um, from this guy, this is Henriette Victoria soap and aftershave. And um, if you go online and you look for his stuff, uh, it's really, it's really good. Um, I can't, I haven't even used the uh, aftershave yet, but I'm excited to try it out. Can't wait to see what it's like. It's it's uh, out of a pump, and I don't, I've never had one of those before, so nothing in a pump. So I was working uh, Saturday, and it was pouring rain, and I was sitting in a four feet of mud, and I decided I'm going to get up and go take a piss. And uh, my phone dropped out of my pocket, and uh, not only did I step on it and not realize it was there, 20 minutes later when I came back, I realized it was on the ground. I picked it up, and it was dead. The camera was dead. This one. And uh, I, put the, I put it in a 10-pound bag of rice. <laughs> to dry it out. And you can see it came back to life.
this thing is singing like crazy um, I'm not sure it looks like a hologram extra hologram you guys can look and give me an idea what that is um, I, I could look it's not a problem I think it's extra hollow The pride you take in shaving is immense. I mean, we do it because we love it. Um, it takes a long time. We don't do it because we have to. We do it because we want to. And uh, I know that uh, I was just watching a video that uh, Ray Pope made. And congrats, Ray. He honed his first razor all from scratch, bevel and everything. And it got, gave him a really great shave. So I know exactly how that feels. So that's an awesome thing, man. Congratulations, bro. What scares the shit out of me is when, uh, when I get like guys that want to buy a razor or have me hone it for them. I, you know, I don't know if they're going to like the way I hone. I don't know if they're going to like my edge. Or if it's not going to work at all for them, because everybody's face and hair and everything on them is different, you know? All right, so that's my shave. Let's wash off and just do a quick towel dry. Get all the stuff off of me. Okay, smooth like a baby's booty. I'm really liking it. The edge is perfect. As far as I'm concerned, I love the way it shaves. And you could see from the beginning of the video to now, I've got absolutely smooth skin now. So let's try out this, uh, this pump. So let's see how much I need. I'm going to use two little pumps. That's how much it is in my hand. I'm not positive how much you need. I don't think that's more. I don't think you need more than that. Oh my God. Oh my God. This stuff smells great. Okay. So it feels... It's got to have some sort of aloe vera in it because it feels just like Ginger's Garden. It's got a little bit of kick afterwards. I could feel it maybe menthol. But it's soft and smooth and it's, um, it's not too greasy. I don't feel any greasiness. But I definitely love the smell. Holy mackerel. I absolutely recommend that you guys get this. Okay, um, they have all different ones. I bought a couple of different soaps. Um, I bought a tobacco cigar and tobacco one, also Cuban cigar. I'm going to use that in another video later on. But so let's talk about this. So it was Henriette Victoria La Piore Piore Franchise. You guys know how to pronounce it. Um, just look it up and check it out. Um, I suck at that. I apologize. But um, I use that and the matching aftershave. Bomb. It's like a cream actually. Frank shaving, pure badger, uh, best badger rather. And loaded, loaded with after I finished all my passes. So, I mean, it's not the best, the best brush in the world. And it doesn't have as much backbone as I really like, but it, it does the job. And, you know, when you have as many brushes as I do, you have to rotate them every so often so they get used. And my Flying Dutchman that I bought on eBay for 18 bucks and cleaned it all up. 
I just have to do the scales and uh, fix the inlay. But uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below, any comments, and have a great shave.